Hey, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another video of gaming in Linux. This time around, I'm playing a game called Cry of Fear. As you can see, it's um, the first person. Well, you can't really see anything from this. But uh, <laughs> before I uh, get into that, actually, it's actually on Steam for free. Uh, but this is the Windows version, so. Uh, but like I said, it it it's free. So I mean, if you want a, a fr look at that, I'm controlling him through the menu. Uh, but yeah, if you want a free horror game, uh, then go ahead and get this game. Uh, I played quite a lot of this um, when I had a, a Let's Play channel, uh, which I still do, but I don't, I don't use it anymore. Um, I was playing through this for quite a long time. What it is is like a psychological horror game uh, with quite a few jump scares, so it does tend to uh, frighten you quite a, quite a bit often. Um, but I certainly recommend it if you, you guys are sort of like into the whole um, horror game series. Uh, seriously, like for a free game, it's so scary. Uh, it's probably like the second most scariest uh, game I've played, probably behind SCP Containment Breach. But yeah, I remember what happens on this bit. Uh, I just sort of wanted to show you guys this because it's quite early on in the game. I uh, just hope it doesn't scare me again. <laughs> uh, but as you can see, there's a nice, nice little cross which is quite far away. Yeah, yeah, it didn't scare me. <laughs> Thank God for that. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of jump scares throughout this game. Uh, sometimes they do get a bit repetitive to the point where you sort of expect them to happen, uh, and then sometimes it's just, uh, you, you know, it's the last thing you expect. Um, I think one of the worst ones was uh, when I went through a door, uh, <laughs> a door, and uh, as soon as I it finished the loading screen and put me onto the out outside of the door, uh, a witch or something, <laughs> not a witch, like some woman was there and she scared the freaking hell out of me. Hey, this is new. I don't think that was on this previously. But yeah, as you can see, it runs fantastic in Linux. Uh, no problems so far, but I, I mean, I've played like two minutes of the game. But yeah, when it do, when it does this sort of loading screen, there was a woman at the end of, the, uh, you know, on the other side, and she sort of uh, scared me. What on earth? But yeah, for a free game, I mean, it's fair play, because, like, they could have easily made a fair bit of money from this game. What's that? Just swapping sides? Yeah. Uh, mouse one to activate your... How do I, uh... Oh, are you going to venture the right? Alright, no, if you just go like that, I'm putting... Alright! They've updated it quite a bit since uh, I actually last played it. This. Used to be like this notepad, find a cove. Ah, cool. I like this. I like this a lot. How do I get off this? Oh, there you go. So if I go on two. Oh, where are you? Come on as soon as possible. How do I ex activate the flashlight? My phone has no flashlight. <laughs> he wants to get slashed, bro. Uh, but yeah, uh, originally for this game, you uh, a requirement for it was to have Half-Life One, as it's uh, a modification for Half-Life One originally. But uh, I'm assuming, like since not long ago, it's um, it's just a standalone game now. Uh, it's about it's about two gigabytes to download. It didn't take me long at all to download, but I have a pretty decent internet speed, so. Jill and David. Okay. Ah, oh, right, there's an X. <laughs> Archives of Jill and David. So I'm currently looking for a note which has a code on it. Um, confused user. Okay. So obviously these aren't the things. We want a four, four digit code to find. Damn, I'm hearing things, man. Pumpkin! <laughs> I have a feeling the note will be on this floor over here. Nope. I'll just say the way I came in, isn't it? Oh, 
I have no idea. <laughs> but yeah, throughout the game there's a lot of deranged enemies to fight. and It's quite a long game, I mean I made 24 episodes on my Let's Play channel and uh, I, I never got around to completing it still. Which is, uh, I, I don't know, it's quite a long amount of... It's a lot of episodes, that isn't it? 24 just for uh, one game? Oh, hello. Especially since uh, I didn't complete the game, that is. Is there a syringe there? <laughs> you what, mate? Oh, you can actually type. Vigit. Log on to. Oh. Oh, uh. Uh. Jill and David. Confused user. Yes, buddy. Jill. And David. Confused user. You what? Jill and David. Com. God damn it. Confused. Confused user. Hey! What is it? Uh, let's go cancel again. Jill and David. Oh, god damn it. Confused user. Confused user. C's look like C's. But yeah, sadly, uh, I can't. I haven't found any enemies throughout the game. Uh, not for a little bit now, I don't think. Um, but I don't want to play too much of this game because I've played it before, and I just wanted to showcase the fact that it works in Linux, which it clearly does. Um, but yeah, I think that'll do anyway, guys. Uh, nice short video for once. Seven minutes. It's not too bad. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Rate and subscribe for Team Biscuits. Certainly recommend downloading this game. Um, yeah, peace and love. See you later.